This is Jupiter Today for the 18th of January, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. At zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on the celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 30 minutes, 31.1 seconds, and a declination of positive 15 degrees, 42 minutes, 18 seconds. The angular separation from the Sun is 157.395 degrees, and that's 1.131 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The phase angle today is 4.07 degrees, and that's 0.192 degrees less than what it was yesterday. And the distance between Earth and Jupiter continues to get less and less as we move towards opposition on the 6th of February. Today the distance is 658,874,508 kilometers, and that's 911 58 kilometers less than what it was yesterday. That gives relative velocity between Earth and Jupiter of 37,960.75 kilometers per hour, and that's 1,786.92 kilometers less, kilometers per hour less than what it was yesterday. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 223.30 degrees, CM2 29.08 degrees, CM3 292.35 degrees. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day just starting to move behind Jupiter. So going into quadrant one, heading east, Europa starts the day in quadrant 3 heading west, very near its western elongation. Ganymede spends all day in quadrant 2 heading west, and Callisto spends all day in quadrant 1 heading east. At 6 hours UTC, Io has now moved behind Jupiter and is firmly in quadrant 1, heading east. Europa at 6 hours is now past its western elongation and is in quadrant 4, heading east. At 12 hours UTC, Io is just past its eastern elongation and is now in quadrant 3, heading west. And at 18 hours UTC, Io is still in quadrant 2 heading west. Europa is in quadrant 4 heading east, going to be moving behind Jupiter. And at 0 hours UTC tomorrow, you can see that Io has moved in front of Jupiter, transited Jupiter, and Ganymede is very near to doing that itself. Alright, there were six Jupiter satellite events. First at 2.45 UTC, when Io reappears from behind Jupiter. And then at 21.11 UTC, the shadow of Io ingresses. At 21.38, Io begins its transit of Jupiter. At 22.24, Europa disappears into the shadow of Jupiter. At 23.28, the shadow of Io egresses. At 23.55 UTC, the transit of Io ends. And there are no mutual satellite events today, so we can go right to 24 hours of a Jupiter sky see what's happening in the Jupiter system from Jupiter's point of view.
Here goes Eo, transiting. The red spot crosses the meridian three times today. First at 1.54 UTC, second at 11.50, and the third at 21.46 UTC. Well, quite a few new images posted on Twitter and other places, so I'll just run through them. And there was some new radio data as well, taken on the 17th of January. And there were no new papers. So please subscribe. The time of this recording is 2336 UTC on the 17th of January, 2015. Would enjoy hearing your comments and suggestions and questions. You can send those and any images to the email show. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.